Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all my Cardfight Vanguard Overdress Apex Ruler Bastion Keter Sanctuary deck profile for post Festival Collection 2021. With the release of the latest Festival Collection, we were given some new support for the Apex Ruler Bastion deck. Some pretty awesome support. We didn't get too many new cards in the Festival Ruler deck uh, set, but with the new support and just the overall changes made to some of the combo ratios in the deck, I definitely felt an update was due since the last version of of the Apex Ruler Bastion deck that I brought for you all. So I hope you all enjoy the update. And once again, when set two rolls around, we'll have another update to the deck with even more support. So probably some even bigger changes to the deck overall altogether. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for the ride deck, starting off with that, as always, our starter is Knight of Heavenly Bow base. When this unit is rode upon, if you went second, draw a card. So pretty standard for the deck. And I would say just the most fitting for the deck being the starter, obviously, for the Knight of uh, heavenly series with our grade one being our knight of heavenly sword fort we're still sticking to the majority of the main deck being grade three units so this is one of our only grade one units when this unit is wrote upon by knight of heavenly spear rooks reveal two grade threes from your hand reveal the top card of your deck and call it to rear if it is a unit card or put into the drop zone if it isn't so you have this option with this card just to give you more rear guards without having to use your hand saving that for guard or even just for the cost of your ride deck altogether with the grade to being the Knight of Heavenly Spear Rooks that we spoke of before. This one just giving you the option when wrote upon by Apex Roar Bastion to reveal three great three cards in your hand. So Sword, a uh, Fort uh, reveal two, and this one reveal three great threes, and you just draw a card. So even if you were to draw a normal order, you would at least have the option to then add that card to your hand since it is a drawed card. We don't really need the rear guard uh, card abilities too much because we don't have any additional numbers of these units in the deck. They're just in the ride deck for the ride options. With the majority of our deck taking place with grade threes but our grade three ride target for the ride deck is apex ruler bastion just being the main unit for the deck altogether. and with this card on vanguard during your turn all your grade three units get plus 2000 power and running the three additional in the actual main deck so three additional apex ruler bastion having the vanguard once per turn ability at the end of the battle that your drive check revealed a grade three discard a card from your hand choose one of your rear guards stand it and it gets plus 10 thousand power until end of turn so this is just the added option for us to have immense pressure against our opponent giving us the ten thousand power and four additional uh for the four total attacks we can have as long as we revealed a grade three if not there's a good chance we either revealed a sentinel or at least a good number of triggers to have that additional pressure against your opponent so you always want to attack with one rear guard first potentially restanding it with bastion and then having those additional ones if you get an over trigger with bastion having those full rear guards it just makes more pressure because those rear guards will also have the drive checks to use. And then for the good majority of the deck, we are still running grade threes. And four of those grade threes are Knight of Broad Axe Refluke. On rear guard, put this unit into your soul. Choose one of your grade three rear guards, and it gets plus 10,000 until end of turn. So with this deck, we aren't really running a good majority of other grades that you can call for boost. So being able to provide a 10,000 power boost with Refluke alone is an excellent addition just for the fact that it can build up soul for some of our other cards we were on the deck, but mostly for that 10k power. Along with the Persona Ride, you can hit 33k power against your opponent alone with some of those other units not including their own skills that they can get for boosted power against your opponent so for this is definitely needed like i said there's no additional cost you just have to put it into your soul and from your rear guard and it gets the plus plus ten thousand power for some of the other grade threes that I run in the deck, I also run four Grand Heavenly Sword Alden. Uh, when this unit is placed on rear guard, counter blast two, soul blast one, choose a card from your hand, call it to rear. If you called a grade three, you draw two cards. So with it, you just have the option for drawing two and calling a card. And most of the time, it's going to be a grade three because that's the majority of what we're running in the deck. So you just have Alden for that pressure and also on rear when this unit attacks. If you have three or more grade three units, which you should always with this deck, it gets plus 5,000 until end of turn. So being able to provide the additional power with Refluke and then the additional option for pressure with your Persona Ride and Alden's 5,000, you can hit for some pretty big numbers alone with this card, not even needing the boost since you have all these other additional things to rely on and along with the plus 2,000 power that you would get from Bastion also. 
And then, like I said, that's a pretty heavy counterblast cost. So we're still running the four Knight of War Damage, Fosado. On rear guard, this unit cannot be chosen by your opponent's card effects. So it can't be put into prison. It can't be retired. You name it, a great safe way to protect your rear guards using this deck. And the biggest thing with this card is on rear guard, when this unit attack hits, you counter charge one and soul charge one. So with it, you have a way to recover your resources in the deck, especially with Alden being a heavy cost of counterblast two and soul blast one. Fosado just comes in as that card that can make up for a good amount of your different resources in the deck. And for the option of basically boosting your rear guards, we are running four of the Dark Strain Dragon on rear guard if you have three or more grade three units, Soul Blast two, and all of your grade three units get boosted until end of turn. So you ideally want to place Dark Strain Dragon in the back row, so this card can boost as well. There's really not much else it can do in the front row. It just provides that boost that a bunch of your other cards on the field can have, powering up your front row rear guards even more. It doesn't give any power boost, it just provides that boost, which you can build up the soul quite easily with cards like Facade or even just when you place them into the soul with cards like Reflu. And then for the additional guard against your opponent, with all the grade three numbers we're running, I also run four actual analysts, Kokia Bale, on guard circle. If your vanguard is Apex or Bastion, this unit gets plus five shield for every two of your grade three units, including this card. So with this defense option, if you have six grade threes on the field, this card will get plus 15 shield in total, being a great guard cost, since otherwise, most of the time, all your guards will be your triggers or your sentinels you have in your hand, since the majority of our main deck are just grade three units that will call for the pressure or be used for discard cost for the sentinel so having kokia bell as an extra defense card definitely does come in handy more often than you would think for the deck with the newest card in the deck being the card from the festival collection and that is bowstring of heavenly peace affion on rear guard once per turn if you have three or more grade three units counter plus one this unit gets plus five thousand to end of turn and if you persona road this turn you draw a card so this is a once per turn that's why i'm only running three of it in the deck you can just keep it on the field and use it again next turn and if you were to have persona road bastion you get the additional draw power which is when you want to most of the time use this counter blast and it can stay in the back row because if you have that soul build up it can also provide boost along with dark strain dragon to some of your other rear guards on the field but once again i feel you only really need the three if you wanted to add in a fourth copy you can always try reducing your numbers of kokia bio in the deck or even adjusting some of the other cards we may run but they all work pretty well together for that setup so it'd be the only option otherwise just keep this card at three it's really enough for that draw power and plus five that can gain for the additional boost that is it for the grade threes we actually don't run any additional grade twos in the deck aside from the one in the ride deck which is the rooks so for our grade ones the only other grade ones we run in the main deck as well is agus mare dragon just being the sentinel with the additional option if you only have the two in your hand being able to guard with the one keeping the one in your hand as the only resource left so you can guard the final attack against your opponent in case they have the let's say the over trigger you block the vanguard attack but then they have that rear guard with the 100 million power if you need to block that also you at least have your last sentinel to rely on against them and that is it for the grade ones moving on to the trigger lineup running seven criticals so four knight of heavenly hammer gurgant and three uh, White Fang Witch Dizma. Once again, these numbers might change with the upcoming set two and the additional card abilities for the uh, front triggers we're getting. But for now, the critical pressure and the fact that our rear guards could have drive checks when we reveal our Martinoa makes for excellent pressure against our opponent. So just running seven of this along with the four draw trigger, just so we can have more hand consistency guard against our opponent. So four Gallus, just fitting with the Knight of Heavenly uh, lineup. Same with the heel trigger, which is healer of heavenly staff arches and definitely will be falling out this deck as soon as i can with all the new stuff from the festival collection it really is awesome that we have this option so you know early on in the card fight vanguard overdress format with the last trigger being the light dragon deity of honors a martinoa giving the option of drive checks to your rear guards is what's definitely scary with this card but still i'd say the over trigger of choice compared to some of the generic ones we run in the decks also but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like I said, just a quick update to the Bastion deck until set two comes out. But until then, as always, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And until next time, Kira Qualia out.